Let's study 9th standard ICAC English Literature Merchant of Venice, Act 2, Scene 8. This scene is a conversation between Salarino and Salanio to reveal a lot of information to the viewers of this play. This is very smart of Shakespeare because now he doesn't have to show various events on stage. He can save time because the viewers would know what has happened through the dialogue between Salarino and Salanio. We know that previously the elopement of Jessica and Lorenzo took place. So now they are discussing this. Salerino says that Lorenzo has uh, uh, eloped with Jessica, but uh, they didn't go with Bassanio. Bassanio has set sail towards Belmont with Graciano and other servants. But Lorenzo has eloped with Jessica in a separate boat, a gondola boat. When Shylock returned home from the mask party, which was uh, uh, partially cancelled, he saw that he has been robbed by his uh, daughter Jessica and he felt that all these Christians are involved in this conspiracy. He feels that Lorenzo and Jessica have gone with Bassanio to Belmont. So he rushed to the Duke. He woke him up. So they had to go all the way to the port. But by that time Bassanio's ship had already sailed. However, Antonio assured that uh, Lorenzo was not there on the ship. In fact, somebody else uh, was witness to Lorenzo setting sail on a gondola boat. So that was evidence that Bassanio and, and Antonio were not even aware of this elopement plan. However, Shylock was disheartened that his own daughter, his blood, had run away with a Christian, even though he was against them, and especially robbing him. So when he was running on the road with the shock, he was just yelling frantically like a crazy person. My ducates, my Christian ducates, my double ducates, my jewelry. He wanted revenge against his daughter Jessica. And he was behaving in such a, a funny manner that the children on the streets were following him while he was running and they were imitating him. All this we come to know through the conversation between Salari Salarino and Salanio. All this is not shown on stage. So the boys of uh, Venice were making fun and mocking Shylock. Next, Salarino reveals that there is some rumor that a ship carrying rich goods has crashed in the English Channel. That is the water body which separates UK or England from France. Now, they hope that it is not Antonio's ship. And they also hope that Antonio repays Shylock's debt as soon as possible because Shylock is extremely angry and if he gets a chance to take revenge, then Shylock would. They hope that this is the last of Antonio's misfortunes, if it is true. And um, they praise Antonio, stating that he is the most generous person in Venice. He has that Roman quality of honour and he's a true friend to Bassanio. Then they describe the scene uh, where they parted with each other. That night when Bassanio had to set sail, they held hands with each other, but they could not meet each other's eyes. And this shows their emotional connection, Antonio and Bassanio. Now, and Bassanio said that he would come as soon as possible, but Antonio told him not to show haste here. He, he had to focus on his mission, that is to win Portia's hand. He said that he would take care of everything out there. He need not worry about the loan. He should not be distracted because of the Jew's bond. He should just show and express his love to Portia. Their eyes were filled with tears and so they just turned away and that's how they parted. So again, uh, this is not shown on stage, but we come to know about this through their conversation. So they are very clear about this fact that Antonio is living for Bassanio and he cares about him a lot. And they want to cheer him up. So they are going to reveal the information about the shipwreck in Goodwin Sands to him, but slowly. Hi students, this is AJ sir. If you like this video, press the like button. If you would like to enroll for my online test series or online lectures, email me or message me on Instagram. Check the description for more information.